Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing a bunch of my favorite things from Amazon. I shop on Amazon all the time. I'm sure you guys do too, especially right now. I feel like right now it's just like the perfect place to shop for stuff so you don't have to go into the store. I have a bunch of random stuff that I use almost every single day that I thought that you would like to hear about. See, I don't know. We'll see. Amazon's the shit. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is my mirror. This this is a mirror that just kind of like sits here on my table when I get ready and I love it. This is what it looks like. It's just a very sleek, simple chrome mirror that really needs to be washed. It's super dirty, but I really love this because of the height, because of the simplicity of it. The mirror that I had here before was a lot shorter, so I had to stack a bunch of books on it and it was gold and I'm just kind of like phasing out gold home decor. This also tilts like this and you can also swivel it horizontally. I just really love it. I've had it for about a year now and I think it just matches my room perfectly. There were a couple of negative reviews on it saying that it came like broken or whatever or like the glue popped off of the back. You could just glue it back together. Mine didn't come broken or anything like that but just so you know it did have a couple bad reviews but it's been great for me so yeah i'll link it down below along with everything else in this video in case you're curious next are these little acrylic organizers i have a bunch of these sitting here on my table i think i have four of these and i use them mainly for my makeup brushes and then like lip liners eyeliners and like little tools it was very inexpensive but feels very high quality and i really like these in particular because they didn't have like an obnoxious label on them a lot of these sort of organizers have like a really bold logo that you can't take off or if you try to it gets stuck and I really like that this didn't have that and it's very sleek and simple. I do really need to go through all of these and completely like declutter and organize because it is a hot mess express right now. As you can see look at how unorganized this is. If you want to see like a makeup declutter and organizing video let me know because that is a good thing that I could do while I'm stuck inside. Yeah it's I'm just like overwhelmed looking at it but yeah really love these perfect for organizing. I definitely want to put like my like go-to makeup in this as well once I like declutter and stuff. So yeah, really love these. This is super random, which I feel like everything from Amazon is pretty random, but um, I'm obsessed with these salt and pepper shakers. We got these different ones, which look nothing like this. They were just like little small salt and pepper shakers from Crate and Barrel when we first moved in here. And the, I think it was like the salt shaker. It wouldn't get the salt out. It was really, really annoying. And someone actually DM'd me on Instagram saying that she had the exact same ones and the same thing happened to her. So I went on Amazon and I wanted to bring more wood elements into the house. It's kind of like what we're doing. It's like black, white and pops of wood accents. So we got these and I love them. They're so hefty. They're they're so cute and they just sit out on our counter next to our oven and I like them. They're great. They're pretty, they're decent quality too. And um, I like the way they look. And that's all there is to it. Another kitchen thing is this cup. I got this because I saw Desi Perkins talk about it in a video where she talked about more like green things and stuff that's better for the environment. And this is a to-go coffee mug. And it's so funny because I told myself I was never ever going to use a to-go mug just because I like to live on the edge and I like to just drink out of a regular coffee mug, even in my car. But for years I had a piece of shit car that like barely worked. So I had no problem driving in it with just like an open coffee mug. And the funny thing is, is I never spilled any coffee in that car. But when I got a new car in, when was that? September, October, I decided I needed a coffee mug, a travel one. And I really like it. I love the way it looks. I love that whole thing. The only thing about this is that it really does not keep your coffee warm at all. I really do need to get one that's kind of like a thermos kind of style. So I do, I mean, I do use this when I leave the house, when I used to leave the house, but I also use it around the house as well. So yeah, really cute. Don't put it in the dishwasher. If you do, just take this off and take this off, but love it. Cute. Another kitchen thing that I have to show you would be our handles for our cabinets. These look identical to these fancy schmancy expensive ass brand that 
I wanted to buy. I got some samples online because I saw them on Pinterest. We decided that was stupid to spend so much money on handles and we went on Amazon and got these for like a fraction, like a fourth of the price. Um, the only difference between these and the ones that I got the samples of that were so expensive is that these are probably half the weight. You can tell that the other ones were definitely more hefty, but as soon as you attach this onto the cabinet and you pull, like there's no way you're going to be able to tell. I'm so glad we got these. They look identical. Um, the only downside about these is that they come in packs of like five. So it's a little tricky because then you can have some left over like we do, but still at the end of the day, you're gonna save money because they're so much cheaper than the ones that you would find in the store. One random thing that I actually don't have here with me because I ate them all <laughs> and I have more on the way, but are my cauliflower thins. I get so many questions about my cauliflower thins when I do like my keto tacos. Yeah, I use these cauliflower thins for the tortillas and they're so good. I think I honestly like them more than regular tortillas. They're actually sandwich thins, so you can use them that way. You can use them with like peanut butter and jelly, have it like on the side for eggs, whatever, but I like them for tortillas and they're so bomb. I can't live without them, so I had to include them in this video even though I don't have them here. That just shows you how much I eat them. I wanted to show you this whole little setup. This is a little tripod. You can move it to stand higher up like that. Um, and then when I have my vlogging camera, I just put it on here and this also helps to stabilize. This is also what I use to film a ton of my IGTV videos on, but also like for live streams or even like sometimes if I wanna like watch something and I want it to be propped up, I'll put this little iPhone holder on top of this tripod. It just screws in here. And then this, you can put your phone just like that. And this also spins so that it can go horizontally too. This is great anytime I've done a live stream, which I haven't done a live in a really long time, but this is perfect for that. And if you're just starting out on YouTube or on social media and you, you don't know where to start, just start with your phone and get these because that's going to make it way easier for you. Sit in front of a window lately. I've just been filming in front of natural light and I think it's beautiful. It gives the same effect. So if you have a window with some sunlight coming in and just a tripod and something to hold your phone, you are good to go. So I thought I'd share that because I feel like a lot of people would really like that. Even if you're not trying to like be on social media, you can use it just to prop up your phone for something. So this next thing is super random. So I was on Instagram and I saw this video of this dog sitting in the back seat. The driver had to slam on the brakes and the dog goes flying through the front windshield. And I was like, Ugh. literally, as soon as I got done watching that video, I didn't do anything. I just went straight to Amazon and ordered a dog seatbelt. So this is Pretzel's dog seatbelt. Has a buckle on one side and you just click it into the seatbelt. And then this goes on to her harness. And it's just like a bungee cord. So if you ever do have to slam on your brakes, she's safe and she's safe, I mean safe-ish. No one's safe at that point, but yeah. That way she doesn't go like flying. I just thought it was so important. The only thing is I wish it did go tighter. I really love this because it's safe for my little dude. So speaking of that little dude, the last and final thing is the dog DNA test. So I've gotten so many questions about what kind of dog she is and I'm gonna tell you. Um, I actually got this DNA test for her before she was even officially our dog <laughs> because I was just curious what she was. I thought she was like a beagle chihuahua and a lot of people think that she is one. She's not either of those things and I was very shocked because she's definitely got the hound in her. I'm gonna put pictures of my dog on here she was here earlier and I filmed this part but my microphone wasn't on so here's pictures of my adorable little peanut her name is pretzel she is mainly wiener dog dash hound dachshund whatever and then she's also shih tzu lhasa apso chow chow and then she's a good percentage of, of the breed group category which means she's just a bunch of different other things so she's just like a mutt through and through um, I think that the dash hound really pulls with her because she is very oblong She's got short little legs and she's a little bit longer, but she's not as long as a wiener dog. She's got short little ears. So I think she gets the ears from the Shih Tzu 
and the eyes from the Shih Tzu. Um, but she, she doesn't even have like a dash hound snout. So I don't know. I don't know how she is the way she is, but she's perfect. Um, and I get a lot of questions on her weight and um, how old she is. So she's full grown. She turned one in December and she's 13 pounds and she's been 13 pounds for a long time. So that was like the, probably the most fun thing I ever got on Amazon. And I get questions about her all the time. So I thought that I would share that. So yeah, that's everything. Those are my favorites from Amazon. There's definitely like a bunch more, obviously, because I'm always shopping on Amazon. You can literally get anything there. So I hope you liked seeing what my favorites were. Let me know some of your favorites down below in the comment section. If you want to see more of my favorites, this could be like a more regular thing where I could show more of my favorites throughout time. Let me know. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today and I'll see you very soon. Bye.